welcome back to Booty, a D&D roleplay session with us Hat Films. <laughs> Yay! Yay! It's us! It's That's all right. Us. Yeah, Hat Films. And then there's Craig. And there's uh, Craig as well. We me. are... He's here. Do it. We've done a prologue, we've done a session one, part one and part two. Uh, and now this is session two. This is the next bit of the story. Uh, and we are going to be playing today for you um, a sort of original D&D show based around pirates and magic. Uh, and for a recap of what happened last session, I'm going to throw you all the way over to Sword, aka Chris Trapp. That's me, because I took notes last session, and Smith was really proud of that. You took notes too. And therefore, I can give you a thorough recap as to what happened in episode one. So, if you haven't seen already, we actually did a prologue, which is like a warm-up uh, of how we all got together. And then episode one, the former one, the following happened. We were aboard the Fat Duck ship. The ship was attempting to return to its owner, Mikkel Salgo, because that was our mission, to retrieve this ship in the Gold Tooth Isle. Uh, and it had on board a spectral crew, which was somehow powered with a captain's hat that when we put on and spoke magic words, we had command of them. We learned that the crew were on a necromancer's ship. We got a bit of backstory from them and uh, it crashed and the Mikkel saved their spirits, which is why they owe it to Mikkel to, you know, be their crew. We completely repainted yes. the fat duck. We put the masks, a uh, mask in sky blue. There it is. Um, Sticky Mickey's face, a turtle face, is on the central sail. Um, Amazing. When at full mast, and it looks glorious. And we also painted the uh, the sails to look like the sky. Yeah. And the the vessel to it look like the sea. It was a real camo job. Real camo job. And we convinced the entire crew to do that for us, which we is great. It. And they had paint on board because sometimes you need to paint an entire ship blue, which is great. Um, we approached, we decided to approach on the way back to the Gold Tooth Isle, we went a little bit awry and went to a huge empire trading ship called Fortune's Grasp. On board, we met a person called Captain Glaston Forthright, who was the captain of the ship, but more importantly, the quartermaster, Tyrone. And he's a lovely fellow, and we made some trades. We uh, you traded- You robbed him. We, we did. robbed him. Well, yeah. well I haven't cut that far yet. Uh, we, we did rob him. We convinced him. We also did some legitimate sales of uh, bags of wheat, ale, and cheese, which were just on. Uh, and then I did steal 50 gold from him, with which we bought uh, the Little Nipper, which is a little mini cannon that we affixed to the front of our ship that can fire lots of cool different cannons. Um, most importantly, they sent us some hotshot explosive cannons and also some enchanted ones, which are guaranteed to hit their target. They call them golden balls. Golden balls. Golden they're, balls. Not, they're not golden, but they're, 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 the, the shot is, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, anyway, we continued on our journey, definitely telling the crew that we're totally heading back to Mikkel Salgo. Um, but anyway, we thought we'd stop off on this little remote island en route. And it turns out to be some sort of ancient uh, island that hasn't been inhabited for many, many a year. And there's some really inbred monkeys on there. Yeah, and we found monkeys. some steps that went all the way to the top. And I remember specifically that Sword beat the living hell out of Mikkel, uh, sorry, Sticky, Sticky Mickey, Mickey. Um, in a sprint dash it's, to the top. It was close, it was photo Whilst finished. Whilst Titus was doing some coconut shooting with yeah. his new rifle. When we made it to the well, top- I hit a monkey. You did hit a monkey and honestly- Probably did it a good favour. You did it just some justice. It had two heads. Um, we reached the top and lo and behold, our minds were blown because Sword discovered that these were in fact a way gate of sorts, which allows us to teleport all across the world. Usually these are owned and controlled by the three pointed star religion and heavily enforced with security. But we found one that is unheard of. No one has heard for it in centuries, we think. Anyway, uh, sort of figured out how to use one, popped to a different uh, place. Turns out it was a shark street, street shark infested uh, port town that was heavily Guarded and it had a it huge. It was staffed by, by, by street shark people, not necessarily infested. Infested with street you, sharks. You can't be. Sort a little racist. Such charged language. There. Infestation. Sort a little racist. Uh, <laughs> Selakai is the name of that uh, species. Yeah, of, of the species. Yeah, of course, yeah. yeah. And uh, a street shark that I've been specifically told looked like Dave Batista in uh, Blade Runner 20. Yeah, he had little glasses on. He was massive, was huge sat, dude, tiny yeah. little glasses. Sat on a huge podium, who I assume is watching for people coming in and out. Didn't expect me coming, and I didn't expect to end up looking at him. So we decided to skedaddle back out of there, and I told the crew what happened and the potential of what this waygate could bring to our new crew. 
Very good. Very good. Very impressed. I'm sure Mark would be jealous of the amount of note taking that you've taken here. Oh, yeah, I don't do hardly as much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I haven't taken a single note. Are we no. supposed to do oh. Yeah, I'm not much. I'm not usually a big D&D note taker. These notes are very loose. Clumsy oh, okay. goose, um, giant peen, uh, child labor on ship. Key well, points. Well, there was <laughs> some <laughs> was. It's not unusual for children to be aboard ships working in this yeah, day I'm just highlighting age. these points. Maybe I'm bringing them back later. Yeah. You're just being historically accurate in this fantasy setting. Mm. Yeah, I know what you mean. It's, I like to mix and match a bit of fact and fiction. But yeah, no, absolutely. Good good recap there. Excellent recap. Well maybe done. Maybe too thorough. Maybe a bit boring. No, no, no. I off. think you, you hit every important thing in some of the bits um, that I didn't remember myself. So um, good job there. Nice. You did change the name of the cannon from Little Biter to Little Nipper. But I prefer Little Nipper. So um, I wrote oh, Little wow. Nipper for some reason. <laughs> that's maybe fine that's by it, me. I think it's I think it's a better it's, it's a better name. So little it's, nipper. Been, it's been retconned to Little Nipper wow. now. Okay. I have the power to change the. Well, world. you're an artificer, and I like to think that you got it, customized it, engraved it a bit, maybe rebranded it. How about that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's no, what he happened. just takes whatever you said happened and gospel. I remember that I was a millionaire as well. Yeah. Last do you? Year. Yeah. Do you remember I've that? decided that you're not though. Oh. Yeah, but I found like a, <laughs> underneath a rock, I found like several gold pieces, like a hundred thousand. Oh, that's more than several. Several's three. You can have three gold pieces if you like. I found three gold pieces. I'll tell you what. <laughs> what we'll you're witnessing right now, ladies and gentlemen, are new D and D players mm. unlocking what they think is their potential, and then getting owned by the DM. Just over and over. It's one of the joy joyous things about DMing. You like just do anything, right? Yeah. 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 So I can okay. try again. No, good job. Right, okay, so we resume our campaign uh, with our three adventurers atop a, uh, a, a tall peak on this mysterious tropical island. Um, they are by the gate. Sword has just popped back through and um, explained to them where he thinks he was. He was only there for a few moments. He saw what he thinks was some form of security guard, perhaps a customs agent, who wasn't expecting somebody to come through a gate. I knew uh, I went very far because I literally felt myself shooting across the world. Exactly. So. He's been thousands of miles through that gate. Right. Uh, and uh, yeah, he's back in back, back back in reality with these two. Is there any kind of talking you want to do there? Play out, boys! What did you see? I don't know if I mentioned this last time, but that was nuts. What was in there? It was a teleportation. It is a portal like I anticipated. Right, I and to... street sharks on the other side. I'm pretty sure I went over this, but uh, honestly, recollecting it all, I, I went through a lot. What did they say to you? Um, I was immediately pointed out by a guy on a massive podium, huge shark-like guy, I think they're a Selakai, seen right. them before, tiny glasses, uh, three-pointed church, definitely, so heavily enforced, and they were like, you're not on the list, mate, and I was like, whoa, skedaddle, and I'm out of there. And what happened to your body during the transformation from here Why, to there? What does that matter? Well, I was just wondering if there's anything what, that we still can't or if we go place? through this portal, I just want to know if something's going to biologically change. You're worried about change. your dick size, aren't you? I'm worried that things might... Should we right. even, Everything feels in order. Should we even right. be playing with this kind of thing? It's not playing, it's, it's, like, I mean, what, it's phenomenal technology. Oh, is it? Oh, oh. oh what's that? is that a monkey? Oh, nice. How many oh, bullets you, you got left in them? hearing a couple of monkey sounds. And PP, you actually notice as you're sort of talk, trying to interject in their debate about sort of what's going on here and what they saw. You're like, what? well, hold on, what is this? And then you sort of notice further down the hill, the big pathway, there's a little bit of like rustling and stuff. And you maybe see one of the, 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 the sort of uh, mutant monkeys jump from like another branch to another. It's nothing too pressing right now, but... Right. But I just notice it out of the corner. It's the first bit of movement you've really seen for them. There's been some like tree swaying and things like that. And you, you guys notice that there might be a few more of these monkeys than perhaps you previously expected. Really been breeding. Obviously Titus had managed to eventually shoot one out of a tree with his rifle shot, swaying from the top oh, of um, you angered the them. clumsy do you think, goose. Do you, think I, do you think they know what I did? What do you mean? Well, earlier on, I shot one in the head. Oh well, yeah, absolutely. Of, but now I've said out loud. Do they understand English? There's a couple oh. of them just going from that bush over there. You look and you see them just like there's a path where the pathway you came up on is flanked by lots of bushes and shrubs, and you just see a couple. Oh. Of... Well, they're not stupid. But they, mate. they sort of cartwheel when they do it because they can't really like run right. properly. They use whichever limbs are like vaguely normal length. It's likely you shot a family member of every living monkey on this island. Okay. Because they're all, they're all family. <laughs> well, this brings me on to my next point. Yeah. Have you guys eaten yet? Uh, I am a bit peckish, Because yeah. I'd bit of that cheese on the oh. ship. There's a lot of cartwheeling meals around, I'm just saying. We could... How good's you your know. aim? You were shooting well, I got one As of you them. you guys are chatting, about 60 feet down the pathway, um, a, a couple of very large sort of mutant monks, but large, bigger than the ones you've seen so far, step out. And Bloody they're looking hell. up at you sort of inquisitively, sort of menacingly. You can see their little 
weird dis, um, you know, they're not symmetrical, their eye size. They're, they're sort of one slightly larger than the other. You're sort of like glancing up at you, looking at the How meat's on this one? so disgusting. Oh. I left the gun back at the place. But I it's can go got to be poisonous oh. to eat some of it. I don't there. think I want to oh. put that inside oh. me. Oh, okay. Oh. Be honest. And I mean, go ahead if you want to. more monkey swings you from the trees. I'm not that hungry is what I'm saying. Oh, hold okay. on, hold on. There's so a couple getting... are hanging from the trees now. There's a few trees We might be getting flanked here, boys. Oh, and they're like hanging back. and Watch looking at you and like. Okay, three point gate. strategy. Uh, everyone back to back. Back to back. In a triangle. Okay. You can see about six things. monkeys now in your cone of vision. Oh, they're mutant we... monkeys. They're all different. I maybe. get out my musket and start like pumping the gunpowder. Well, right. I reckon yeah. just don't move. Maybe they can't see us. Which one looks the most move. meaty? Oh. And then they all no, start making sort of. <laughs> no, 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 not out of us, out of them. <gasps> they're getting oh, a bit excited they're, now. They're, I think they're chattering gonna, and. They're going to do something. Cackling. Should we just get your rifle out. Wait, they might be welcoming us. <laughs> a couple more have ran up the path behind the big ones. The big, they're looking over the big ones that had stood in the middle of the path. Stand right, down! Trying to find out what's going on. Are they armed? Oh. And the two that were in the trees drop down as a couple more swing they all up naked? the trees, up the hills. Yeah, they're, they're all like, they're the wearing clothes. clothes no. or... But they're all pretty guys, weird. They're all kind of subtly different. I can speak to the animals. Very well, quick then. Very quick. briefly, and also with the, the most simplest terms. Okay. Oh, you can't um, quiet. There is one you see one half like closer, about thirty feet away from you. The one that sort of seems like a leader. I'm gonna type. blow his brains out. He's if you don't up. say something soon. Sword's got a musket oh, pointed at him. Do you want to try and talk to him? We come in peace. So you're using speak with animals. I'm using speak with animals. I think. Yeah. yeah. You, the, the 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 monkey that's nearest you sort of cocks his head to the side, and it's just like dinner. I understand them. I think I, 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 I'm not sure if I understand dinner. them. Dinner. Yeah, you would have. You would have got that. They're saying dinner. Oh, we What's don't. he saying? They're saying dinner. Do well, we like words, dinner. Well, maybe we can make them dinner. I'm gonna blow his brains out. What, what do comes in? Don't blow his brains out. Don't blow his brains make out. Make them dinner them. or make them dinner. Oh, well, I mentioned that earlier when you said no. Can you get them to specify whether we're dinner or they want dinner? Oh. Or if they dinner are indeed our you dinner. or dinner us. Does that make sense to you guys? I tried no, to simplify that. You just that. literally no, I just heard like whooped a load and of hollered. Noises. Right. Okay. You dinner? Oh, I think they want to be us. <laughs> I think I'm establishing. He's shot. Just before, He's taking a shot. <laughs> just as that shot goes off <laughs> behind you, so the the shot goes off. The monkey dives to the side as the round just ricochets off the floor where it was, <laughs> uh, and the gate behind you bursts into life again. <laughs> Oh Christ! Uh, behind you, you hear this like, yeah, bursting of energy, and there's just light, and all the monkeys go fucking nuts. Okay, they're like, Dinner! we got company, boys! Oh God! <laughs> and they start to rush towards you. I'm in full with... soldier mode. Right. Okay. And I'm like, you're trying to, you're already working on the next round. I'm working on the next round. I'm diving for cover if okay. there's any like okay. rocks or something where I can like put my back up against. Okay. Yeah. 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 And reload. Uh, there, I, all the way up this sort of long spiral pathway up to the peak of this hill. Is, it's loosely paved and cobbled in the centre, but to the sides there are ditches, there are rocks, there are bushes, and then larger trees either side of it. And that's what the monkeys can swim from and stuff. You can easily duck to the side into sort of into that ditch if you want. So um, as it reaches the top of the hill, that ditch sort of flattens out and becomes that flat area where the gate is. But so you can sort of go down and sort of right or left of, of that walkway. So nice. Can, right, so that's where you are. Okay, sweet. So you can cover. They're all hostile! Kill without mercy! What do you guys do? So you see oh, him dot. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna well I don't, if I can. Uh, a prestigitation, I'm gonna create a, an image of what looks like well, basically like a green screen. So we're behind it, they just think it's just we've just disappeared. So then we're gonna shoot through it. It's just, an, okay, it's just so you a, created, a vision. You can use minor illusion to do that. Minor illusion, yeah, minor illusion. So you create like a, a fake front in front yeah, of yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they think you've disappeared. <laughs> okay, yeah, you've done okay. that. Oh, they can't see us. Keep shooting. They no longer see you. They're kind of puzzled, but for some reason they're still running towards where you were. Oh god, they can go through this. <laughs> just shoot to kill. Where did you go? They can get through this thing. This is just a vision. I just run and hide. You can <laughs> withdraw inside your shell for an extra AC bonus. I can, right? yes, you I saw that. that. So, <laughs> you drop <laughs> down in, in the face. Yeah. You can't move if you do this, but I think it gives you a bonus to your AC. Let me just check. Shell defense. You can withdraw into your shell as an action. Until you emerge, you gain plus four bonus to your AC, and you have advantage on strength oh, and con saving throws. While in your shell, you are prone, your speed is zero and can't <laughs> increase, you have disadvantage on dexterity saving throws, and you can't take reactions. The only action you can take is to use a bonus action to emerge. <laughs> oh, you can do it as a bonus action. Though. Yeah, so he could then take an action after, I guess, on his turn. So you should, you may as, is it an action to retreat? It's an action to retreat, oh, yeah. right, so you can't just pop in and out. <laughs> so you pop Every in, turn. that's giving you plus four bonus to your AC. So your, that's base, very nice. your base AC is already 17. 
So you now have an AC of 21. What was AC again for the AC audience? AC is what number you class. have to beat Armor in order class. to hit someone. Okay. Right. So like, like shield. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's like your your shield value, let's say. But if I can't, if I don't beat that number when trying to roll a hit with one of these monsters, I can't hit you. I imagine you've retracted into your shell facing down the hill. So you guys are at the peak. The gate okay. is behind you. You're in a rough, loose arc facing down the hill. You're on a flat area at the top of this hill, but the monkeys are coming up the hill through the bushes, through the trees. You can sort of see just over the edge and down the hill, you see some, some of the monkeys Waves coming towards you. Come yeah, yeah. Towards you can see it through a tiny little diamond hole where your neck usually is. Sword. Yeah, Death. what? I'm in my shell. Sword shouting from behind some rocks that he's taking cover behind as he's Quickly, see if you can musket. come out and kick me down this hill. It'd be like bowling. I just got some cover. But they can hear you now, they know where you are. All right, you tell me when it's clear and I'll go. I can't see a thing. They can't, they shouldn't Sword be able to see you. Sword is very worried about ranged attacks from these unarmed mutant monkeys. You're compromising a strategy. <laughs> but we could take out loads of them. They're all down this hill, I can see them coming up. Uh, I'd like to use a firebolt. One of the monkeys through my invisible wall, which okay. is should be shielding all of us. I mean... Yep. Roll to hit. That is a nine. nine. A nine, and then plus what? What are you fighting with? Fireball, so, so there's a plus, plus five. five. So, yep, okay. you hit. Yep. 14. Roll damage. There's a five. Five damage. Okay, plus. right, no problem. You, which monkey do you want to hit? Uh, just nearest to us. I'm trying to avoid him getting through this shield. Um, okay, right, so one of the big monkeys coming up, one of the ringleaders, perhaps. He's coming up towards you, like, oh, dinner, dinner, he's saying to you, yeah. and you just send a fireball straight through his chest. He just drops straight down. Oh, oh I got him. Like, nice. you know, it you really doesn't it. take much to kill these mutant monkeys. They're pretty frail as it yeah. is. Um, one of them goes down, face burst Sack in the sand, shit, yeah. like instantly. You, you've done him straight through the chest. You see that, Kapipi? I can't oh, see a thing. What are you doing in there? <laughs> Unless you're directly in front oh. of my hole. <laughs> Come out of there, you idiot. It's like a leather box. It's like Gromit when he's in that cardboard they can't box. can't see us. I'm going to go and kick uh, Kapipi. You can get into the... position to kick him, but okay. you can't. So I'm you... going to stand behind him, ready to kick him. And you rest the foot on the back of his shell. Yeah. Next up is sword. I'm going to rest my musket on top of the, uh, the stone okay. for a bit of purchase and just blast the closest monkey between me, Kapipi, and, and Titus. Okay, okay, Titus. nice. Titus. 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 You uh, aim at one of the monkeys that sort of looks like it's about to swing down from a tree. I'm trying to clear a path, That's basically. Down the hill. Uh, okay. Towards Kapipi because he asked me to drop kick him as well. Okay, the, across you is still clear. They're all approaching up this hill. So if you guys imagine right. this is the gate behind you, you're on this top of this hill. They're all trying to come up this hill, right? In They're which coming case, up in the trees. I'm providing covering fire. Okay, so you look over the rock like this. You covering shoot down fire! the hill, and as one monkey emerges from a bush, you see him. He sees you. There's a moment. Oh, you're dead, mate. I got a two plus <laughs> or three. Dead, okay. Bang! The musket goes off. Just what? There's a there's sort of a large uh, tropical flower to the right of this monkey that's just spotted you. Just <laughs> uh, it, it sort of goes and then dives down in the bush and then starts crawling its way up through the bush on the right hand side of the road. Monkeys inbound! Can I uh, say how many roughly I can see? You can see about twelve monkeys at this point. Twelve hostiles! Right. Inbound! Okay. No, no, no. Us. I'm pumping the musket. Right. Be prepared to evacuate potentially through the pool. Man, we all have to link hands at the same time. Right, okay, okay, right. The monkeys are moving up in a group. They all move sort of together. Some are moving through the trees. You see movements in the bushes as well. There's lots of them. Most of the bushes are moving now. You hear a lot of <laughs> lots of excitement, chittering, chattering. <laughs> They're not, one of them's moved out into the middle of the pathway to pick up the one that you put a firebolt through the chest off and they're just picking up its arm, just being like, oh. <laughs> they're, like they're like, they're starting to mourn oh, a little no. bit, but they realize this is a hostile situation. So you see one of them drag that monkey, that dead monkey off into a bush, you know, and then there's a monkey behind it just going, because they are family. Yeah. <laughs> they're religious. No. They're religious. Ah. And uh, yeah, whilst that's going on, more monkeys move up towards you. The, the bushes and the trees all around you are just swinging, hammering with monkeys. These are, these are all over the place. Um, that's all they do for this round. Uh, Kapipi, once again, you're okay. top of the round. So I realize that I'm probably not going to get down this hill before they get up here. So I've Use the bonus action to pop out of my shell. Okay. That's You're the out. sound that makes <laughs> So I've got a, um, a spell Plus. called Sleep. Oh, interesting. Uh, the spell sends creatures into a magical slumber. Okay. Uh, creatures within 20 feet of a point you choose within range are affected in 
uh, ascending order of their current hit points. Yeah. Okay. So I do whatever that means. Which side of the road do you want to target? You want to try them side in the middle or left or How right? How close side? am I to the portal that the, the guys want to You guys are like through? ten feet at most, probably less. And I cast it as an like around the portal area, so it's like a clear. Any monkeys? So in it's there. a clear so area for us. To, area. So we can quickly get to an escape to the portal. Okay, so you're in the portal area. Us. So once again, right? Okay, let me draw. Let me draw something for you, so it might be easier to understand. Right, I made a diagram for you. Um, Hold on a sec. So, oh wow, that's where's <laughs> wait the, a minute. Hang on a second. This is the top of the hill, right? Yeah. This right. is the portal. These are the two uh, pillars of the portal. Yeah. Here it is. Here. Yeah. You are. So your letters represent where you're stood. So mm -hmm. PP, you're stood here. Titus is in the middle. Sword is over here, taking cover. Down here is the hill down the road. These M stand for monkeys. This map okay. looks like a penis. Well, it does, yeah. Oh, I see. Okay, then I'm going to cast it in front of me looking down the yes, hill. Yes, there you go. On yep. the ramp. Okay, so I've got to roll five of these, right? Did you see? Five D8. So roll yes. four and then one four, more. Four, then one more. All right, what have we got here? Seven. Ooh. Do I add them together? Thirteen so far, and then okay. another one. Four. Seventeen. Kapipi, what does your sleep spell look like? So, I whack out my loot. Yeah. And it's just like a lullaby. Nice. Uh, Go to sleep, go to sleep, ah. go to sleep, you ah. little monkey. <laughs> and as he says Please that, don't two or three monkeys just drop out of trees on the left hand side. Oh. That's a powerful lullaby. Oh. Yeah, you, you, you put to sleep like four monkeys doing this. Wow. It's working, monkeys. guys. They it's very working. Weak. Yeah. <laughs> go to sleep. Yeah. They're already asleep. I haven't even got to the solo Several yet. Fall asleep. The one that was crawling up after being shot at by sword slumps sleep as well. And they're all soothed. They're, they're quietly sleeping. Very cute. Well I'll done. Up. Would you like to do anything else, Kapipi? I'm going to move as close as I can get to the portal because I'm assuming this is where we're going, guys. Are we going back this way? I don't think get we've got a choice. Dodge. They've got us bottlenecked. We're going back here. I get as close as I can to the portal. Roll me a, um, an acrobatics check. Uh, that is a six. six. What's your acrobatics score? Plus uh, three. Pipi trips Nine. and falls through the portal. Oh, oh, Christ, we need to follow him. Okay. Oh, oh, uh, Titus, uh, you'll go. Uh, you, you've seen um, a lovely sleep spell, a beautiful song. I mean, you feel a bit drowsy yourself, to be honest with you, but oh. sort of shake it off. Um, a few of the monkeys have fallen down to the side, but more and more of these monkeys are coming. There's just, it's turning into a real cacophony of screaming yeah. and screeching as, as blood and, and uh, is seeping down the hill now from a couple of wounds that Sword's musket has, has instilled. Uh, one of the monkeys that fell out of the tree after being cast asleep has clearly fallen on its neck awkwardly, and there's another monkey next to that <laughs> just pulling up his arm, it dropping, the monkey crying. You know, it's. it's is this. Is... Is the gate still open? Because the gate's still open behind you. Right, and okay, occasionally... So he okay. fell through it. He fell through, but like I thought the whole idea was we had to touch it. Well, something jump. activated on the other side. I'm going to jump in. You're going to jump in? The I'm going to follow. I'm going to dive. You like jump a, in? Like a little vertical like vortex dive. You say anything as you jump in? I'm like, uh... Cowabunga! <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to... Lord, you hear this and think he's trying to cast Whoa! a spell. All right, yeah, I'm making sure that there's no monkey chasing him. Yeah, Got yeah. a bead on okay. that area. Uh, then... Give me a... Um... Perception or something? Be... Yeah, perception roll a sec. <clears throat> That's a 17 plus perception of zero. 17. You see a monkey try to follow uh, Titus into the portal. Okay. Um, what do you do? Have I reloaded my musket? Yeah, I you're don't ready know what to the go. Rules are. Yeah, sure. Your musket's reloaded and ready to fire. Do you take the shot? Um, I jump out of cover, yep. I combat roll for no real reason, right, okay. but then when I come to, I start pelting it towards the portal, mm -hmm. and en route, I'm going to point blank blast the <laughs> monkey. Okay, give me a roll to hit with advantage. Sweet. Natural 20. Boom, nice. you blow you that him. thing, just, it just, you, you fire. Fuck off. <laughs> and the round goes through the top of the monkey, and because this particular mutant monkey, its cells don't hold together as well as other monkeys for some reason, that was part of the problem with it. So your bullet goes through it, like have you seen those videos of ballistic gel? Where the, oh, where the bullet goes in, you just see the waveform of, 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 of the blast of the bullet. Just and, and so the, the monkey Paste. just drops down, splatters, just opens in two as you blast it. And, and once again, like I did with the portal to the yep. street sharks, I'm diving backwards through it, two middle fingers, nice. as I put the musket on my back. Okay, acrobatics check. Okay, sweet, yeah, fair enough. Nice. 
The star, that's a five. That's a five, <laughs> that's a five. That's a five. Okay. The fuck? You go through the portal, and I'm going to explain roughly what you all experience, but you all experience it within a few seconds of each other. Pp, you come out the other end first, followed by Titus, followed by Sword. As you guys make it through, uh, several of the monkeys, in fact, most of the monkeys left alive who aren't mourning their dead, run and dash through the portal behind you. You appear in a huge round room. The walls are made from large stone blocks that seem fused together somehow. Um, it's dry, with a light breeze blowing through large open windows built into the walls of what you're fairly sure is a castle tower or some form of tower. You've seen this kind of stonework similarly before, this style of building. Um, you, there are mage lights hanging in the air above you, uh, casting a warm golden light. Uh, there's straw on the floor ahead of you, and the walls of the huge room have small stone alcoves in rows that wrap around and up in a spiral, reaching up to the top of the 30-foot high room. So if you imagine, like, stone dog kennels built into the edge, a bit like, um, you know, where you, doves sometimes live. There's a specific name for that kind of room, but I okay. can't remember. As, um, as you, you, you fly through the portal, you, it's a really short trip, this one. There's nowhere near as much of the world-spanning sensation that Sword you got when we went to the other portal. This is more of a light zip. You barely see anything. It's a, you go through the lights, you have the sensation of being somewhat catapulted, all three of you do, over a, a, a small distance, over ocean, you see that. Um, and then you come out quite quickly on the other side and you roll out. You come out, skid on your back, Kapipi, and then just come to a stop. Titus, you step through, um, and how did you go in? Well, actually, uh, I did a dive. You a vortex did a dive, dive is what I'm calling it, where I was... Okay. <laughs> you come out and just land flat first on a stone oh, nice. floor, but there is some straw and hay, so it sort of softens it a bit. Oh, fuck! And sword, you come through backwards as your fingers like this. this. But again, equally just... Fuck you! And you come to quite a painful stop on some, on some rock and some hay. Uh, yeah, as you do this, you're, take you're, aim! you're gathering, you're gathering, you take aim. <laughs> I mean, fair enough, you take aim. As you're gathering your wits, however, you feel the sensation of a few oddly shaped paws and feet sort of like roll over the top of you, like, Ugh! and you hear this, oh, God. Dinner, just dinner. smacking them off with the, the butt end of yeah, my musket. Yeah, and they're like, they're, they're not paying much attention to this, they're bouncing off you, and the three of you, as you come to your wits, see most of the monkeys have come through, they've climbed up onto the top of the first sort of alcove built into the bottom of the spiral. And they're each jumping up along the spiral and finding their particular alcoves. They seem to have their own ones and sort of tucking in and swinging in. And inside those alcoves, you realize these sort of like monkey beds, right? And, and in there what they've the got hell? Like mad, what looks like a little plate of magically sort of summoned bread and, and fruit and monkey food, let's call it that. Um, Wait, I think they live here. This is their dinner. They go through this all the time. Wow, so we killed them for nothing? They were just uh, running. Fun. They were just, just running to the We gave them the mercy, I think. Yeah. They were what trying to is get this through. place? Weird. You want to have a look around? Yeah, I'm going to look yeah. out the open window and see what's below this tower. Okay, looking out the window, you estimate you're on the top floor of a tower that's perhaps about 100 feet tall. You look out and you're on, you're on some form of island. It looks like quite an interesting island. Um, there are, now I'll give you a map. You look out, and from the map you had previously, the magic map that you've been looking at on the on on the ship, oh. the one oh, that had the full wow. thing, uh, you recognise this as the Wizard's Island. It's marked Ooh. on your magical map. Now, as you see on here, you are in one of the smaller towers that seem to have been added to a much older sort of um, design of a tower, the big square one to the left there. You're in one of the smaller ones that seems like it may have been formed magically quite quickly. Like the, the brick and stuff is fused together using what you think is some sort of um, alchemical or magical process. It looks like it may have even been sort of constructed with the help of sort of elementals or something like that rather than by hand or by masons. Um, you can see beneath you, Trot, you're looking out um, of, let's, you're looking south out of, out of one of the windows. You can see a small dock with a little um, boat docked to it. See a small dock what do you with see a little <laughs> boat docked to it. So that one's about a third of the size of your caravel. Seems to be about a third of the size of our caravel, roughly from this position. Oh, okay. To the left, Where you see um, a large set of uh, caves. I'm looking out left now. What's out left? And I can see a large set of caves. Oh, no the way. cave entrances are look? all sea, seaway, though, so they're filled with, with ocean water. What are the maybe? entrances filled with? Unfortunately, it's all sea uh, pointing, sea facing, so they're all oh, wet. Wet. Right. Oh, all right. No beachside entrances, I'm afraid. Uh, Let me continue looking around. Why don't you so look right out the north window. one? Why don't you look out the north window? I'll go look out the Hold north on. window. Hold on, when you look to the right out of the existing window, you also see a large dock. 
fairly large. It's got three decks. It's, it's enough for decent sized ships to dock. Um, it looks like it's used as a merchant's wharf for loading on barrels and wheat and provisions and things like that. What I'm else actually, do you see? I decided to glance right a little bit more and I've come across a much larger dock that seems to have three oh, on it. Way. Is it and bigger than the other one that was south? Far bigger and it looks like it can, can hold much bigger vessels. Potentially oh. it's a trading uh, oh. port oh, for merchants we, or such. We'll surely oh. need to get out of this tower filled with monkeys. Yeah, I'm not... I'm a little concerned as to who is feeding the monkeys and why they're allowed to come through this hidden portal. Well, should we go up or down? Well, so as you look out into the room, um, there, you, all of you can see this. I'm going to look into the middle of the room now. No, so on the edge of the room, there's a staircase the down. <laughs> so if you imagine a big open floor in a big circular um, tower, on, on, the, on the edge of the circle, um, you see an opening and there's a staircase down to the floor below. The monkeys are all in their little alcoves, sort of chewing away, eating their food really hurriedly. They really enjoy it. They're like, nom, 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 nom. And then some of them are already settling down to go to sleep. A few of them look out a little like thousand yard stare as they look at the empty alcoves that once their family and friends inhabited oh, and no they longer. They each had their specific uh, You notice that one yeah. of the last monkeys, the portal closes at this point, but just before that, one of uh, a monkey drags through or they're carrying through, oh, no. lofted a he atop um, a particularly oh, large mutant yeah, monkey. Looks like they with, got burial rights. With now. a hole yeah, through its chest. Um, and they're, they're carrying him aloft, several of them, in, in a mark of respect. Awkward. As they walk by you, they don't seem angry at you, but they sort of glance up at you and sort of like... Oh, they're not holding grudges. The monkeys weren't asking for to eat us. And that's a translation error? In my, um, that's my it's bad. Yeah, I can't it's imagine I think done. that I, I mean, deserve credit for just even... pointing that out, because obviously I did terrible things. We all did terrible things. We're, we're, not, blaming you, you, we're uh, not blaming you, we're not blaming you. You managed to even get the word dinner. From yeah, them is is quite remarkable. Of course, but it, it led to many of their deaths. And it was what a looks big like their leader is now dead because of a well, fire uh, bolt I fired at it. We've got to look at it from a warrior's standpoint, all right? Yeah. We've both, and we've all now, braved the battlefield. Sure. And what happens on the battlefield, I think, can stay on the battlefield. You can't bring that baggage <laughs> home. Say, yeah, you say that where I come from, it's all or nothing. You kind of have to completely deplete the... the, the so, like, I mean, there's the a drankers. real want in me to destroy the rest of them right now. Yeah. I Fair won't. Enough. We are physically deterred from doing so. Um, but let's move on, shall we? Should we go up or down that little bit? Well, there? there's a little spiral staircase right in the middle there. Let's we go can down. Uh, I want to know what they ate. Maybe there's a bit of food here. Do you want to have a look in one you of the alcoves? You want to eat the monkey food? Yeah. You want to eat the mutant monkey I'm going to have food? a crawl up one of the alcoves and okay. have a look in. I'm guessing you're going into an uninhabited. The one that definitely died, right. I'm looking in their alcove. How ah. would you tell which one of the... Well, you said that empty. there was like an empty one. Oh, there's several empty ones. Oh, right. right. I mean, three, they miss... four of them didn't make it through because they were asleep on the island. Did still. the monkeys weren't... You know the monkeys that came through and yeah. started going into the little alcoves? Yeah. Did they miss, skip one yeah. solemnly and then moved? I want to go to that one. Okay, right. You noticed, <laughs> yes, when some of them were climbing, that there was one alcove that they treated slightly oh. more solemnly than the rest. They, and had they some, all seemed to they tip their monkey, monkey, mutant, mutant monkey heads, all their asses, depending on where their face was. Um, they tipped <laughs> that of course. in recognition. Well, can right, I do a little trick there. behind him? Huh? Can I just kind of like play with him a little bit? Who, the monkey? Yeah, I'll just come behind him to a little mind illusion where the, that, the monkey that died is now alive. And like, it's like, ah! Oh, but then I'll laugh about Your it. minor illusion is like, Really basic. It's it really like a basic? cardboard cut. Well, it would just, yeah, just be a pop-up where you just come up and they, they all just kind of... Yeah. And then, and then they touch it, their hand Look. goes through it and they go... Have I made up for it? <laughs> I didn't make up for it. Oh, oh okay. God, that's, you're that's, making it worse. Things that's are different nasty. where I come from, clearly. Oh, you're sinister. Well, my people would have appreciated that. That's one last moment to say goodbye. One of them throws yes, a bit of their slop right at you. Give uh, me an acrobatics check. Oh. To see if you dodge the slop. Was it eight and a, what, what, and a two, a ten? No, you don't. You take a bit of slop to, ah! the, eye, to the eye. Ah! It's not painful. It just momentarily. Ah! And then you realize it's not slop. I think this is shit. <laughs> Sword, you're ah! looking for you're looking for this um, particular alcove. Well, it's not one, not. So Ugh. in there, you find a small wooden bowl that looks like it's just been turned out of a piece of wood. Very simple. Inside, you find what looks like just like a nutrient mush. Um, it's some I'll give sort it a of, single taste on the tip of a finger. It tastes quite sweet. Mm -hmm. It's quite nice. It's clearly sort of a mixture of like fibers and sugars. Um, and uh, yeah, it tastes a bit like, um, like one of those health bars that are like banana and date. It's your basic rations, honestly. This all. It's I good think for we have rations. We've yeah. got rations. We just I'll, bought some. I'll take the bowl with me and just no. kind of casually graze on it. Ugh. Should we go down the spiral staircase? Oh, let's, food. Get, let's get out of here. Do you here. want an in shell or out of shell? Because it seems quite fun. I mean, it, it 
can be quite painful, but uh, okay. all right. I don't fancy walking down all those steps and though. So. How did you enter the pool? Did you scrape you? on your back? I scraped on my back, yeah. Oh, can I have did. a look at your back a sec? I want to check if the engraving of the way gate oh, number yeah. is still oh. on the back. Still there. Yeah, yeah, the still, still there. there. It's a little bit scuffed, oh. but um, nothing too bad. We're going to have to polish that hey, at hey, some sword. point. Hey, right. Yeah. You think we can... Yeah. I'll, I'll pull him away from... Yeah, what's up? From... I think we could just roll him on his back and just ride him down those stairs. That's why I was. I just don't use my legs anymore. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. Well, when we've got a huge tall. I think if I it's think he'll be, he'll be fine with it. He won't notice it. He's so big. All hey right. guys, are we going down musical. or what? Are we going down? I get on my rope mm -hmm. and I make a brief lasso okay. and I try and wrangle Kapipi's head. Come here, mate. What are you Come doing on. with that brief lasso? All right, roll a hit. Add to your dex. That is a six Ooh. plus uh, a solid. I think it's just two. No, one. Seven. Versus Lasso your... doesn't land. No. Uh, it sort of bounces harmlessly off the back hey, of your uh, What was that about? Whoa! Ooh. What was that about? Oh, it's just like a, a test. <laughs> of what? Survivability. You know, we're out in the middle of nowhere now, and you, you could be attacked at any moment. So I could, by keeping you. Keeping you alert, sunshine. You're welcome. I put that away awkwardly. Yeah. Oh. Watch him, Titus. Oh, uh, that didn't work. All right, watch so you're proceeding him. downstairs? I guess we'll walk. Ah, uh, <laughs> yeah, this down. is just rude otherwise. Okay, to so Jeers. And chitters, mainly at Titus. Oh. You guys leave the monkey room. Whatever. Um, Whatever. Or the apiary. Well, they really as, don't as like you, Titus. Think I didn't know. Uh, but I'm they just aren't eating apes. their slop. You're eating their slop. That's, as not, you go down. That's not bad. Thing. Still rubbing you my hurt at all? Head. Uh, yeah, I am actually. Are you? Yeah. All right, you get two two HP back. This is good stuff. Hey, awesome. you don't you don't think the thing the you know they've got like two heads and kind of like weird like mutations. Some of them do. Yeah. You don't think it's from the food, do you? Oh. Did you think about that before you started eating? I Never just, mind, forget what I said. Ignore nah, me. they all seem to be family. I think it's from the other thing. Oh, clearly. I think you'd be alright. Clearly. None of us know. I throw it. I I'm throw not eating any of it, but I think you'd be alright. Throw the bowl down the steps. Okay. Uh, you throw the bowl down the steps. <laughs> Do you walk down the steps yeah, as well? Yeah, we... Oh, we're going to slip like, like a banana peel. <laughs> That's a banana peel. Why have we here? done this to ourselves? We're just a bunch of claps. <laughs> no, the bowl rattles down the stairs. You guys walk down. They're large, um, hefty stairs made of planks set into the walls. Um, they're very solid. Good construction again. Seems like it could have been made sort of quickly and well, rather than with any real sort of artistry. You step down the stairs and you come down onto the second floor. The ceiling isn't quite so high. Um, it's about 15, 15 feet high. Still a high room. Uh, in it, you find a. This floor is a lab and workshop. Um, there are many different projects going on. Um, as you walk down the stairs, they reveal them. There are fruit and grain plants growing in bizarre ways under purple mage lights. Suspended in midair by metal apparatus, uh, their roots can be seen hungrily sucking up potions from large troughs beneath the plants. Uh, all the, like I say, several different species of plants. You see some that look like grains, some that look like fruits, some that look like flowers. And they're all growing incredibly well and, and, and much larger than normal, thanks to what you think is these sort of strange potions that they're drinking at the bottom. Uh, further to, uh, around, there are other stations. There are what looks like horned rabbits and feathered rodents, and what you think might be a smaller, simpler form of a kobold, uh, held in cut, uh, hutches and cages around. So they're sort of on a different station, they're sort of making chittering noises. And there are tables with static magnifying glasses on large, movable arms uh, for investigating and looking at small things on tables that have straps and things like that to hold the subject in place. Um, and the contain there are large vats and containers in other corners of the room, with many bizarre, colourful liquids. Uh, some are on burners, bubbling away gently. <clears throat> I've seen stuff like this before. Have you? Yeah. We used to do tests on the lesser, lesser folk. And so we would strap them down. I wouldn't, I watched. Um, sometimes it was for entertainment, we would gather a crowd of us, and we'd watch them as they squirmed. It's quite weird, but we're healthier for it. You know, I literally like get hired as a mercenary band to like rut out, gut out, you know, corrupt factions that yeah. experiment on people like that yeah, and breaking hard. like humane laws. And Horrible, whatnot. isn't it? But again, I've never been sent underwater, so no, I guess it's, it's, a, a, it's a harsh, it's a harsh, land. harsh living yeah. conditions. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. yeah, I told you about the anchors, right? The, the anchor storms, drankers. we call them. Yeah. The drankers. Those anchor storms, drankers storms. They really mess you up, don't they? And you yeah. think that's okay, is but no, it? Well, I don't think it's okay. But well, you said you laugh at it well, I get and for entertainment. What? No, what the, the, no the experiment. Yeah. The experiments, yeah. Yeah. You don't know what they're like. Well, what are you doing? Like cutting people well, open? I don't, I don't physically do anything. But yeah, they do cut them open. By saying nothing, you're taking part, you know that. Well, they keep them alive. That's gross. That's gross. Well, some of them stay alive. It's not always bad. Anyway, it looks like they've been doing that here. 
Yeah, um, maybe weird. they've been testing on these uh, weird mutant monkeys that we found. Probably. They might be uh, the cause. So beyond the, the plants and things like that, you don't see anything like actively going on right now. You don't see anything where you're like, we need to stop they're that animal suffering. They're not pinned to a table, yeah. Yeah, yeah, they're just held in hutches and things like that. Okay. Um, maybe that stuff could happen here, but you haven't seen it no. happening. Do they look scared? The animals? The no, they're just, they're just chittering away. I'm gonna tap stuff. on one of the little hutches. Which one? Is it the uh, horned rabbits, the feathered rodents, or the kobold-like creatures? Horned rabbit. Okay, the horned rabbit sort of just... Oi! Lumps towards you one, looks up. I'm gonna give it a little, little bit. once over for any scars or anything like that. No, what you see is a small brown rabbit with these wonderful curled, sort of almost ram's horns on its head. Just I've never out. seen anything like you wow. before. So what a weirdo. He's a bit cute though as well. Be isn't free. He? Do you open the hut? <laughs> Be free. That's not a good I idea. Open it, I open it up. Okay. The rabbit comes to the edge. This hutch is about, is on top of a table, so it's off the floor a little bit. It's a small hutch, about two feet wide by two feet tall and about five feet deep. Uh, it comes forward, sniffs around a little bit, decides it doesn't really want to hop out, so just. Can I then go and, and pick, go to pick him up just to pet him? Like you want to pick him up? To hold him and then... Give me yeah. an animal handling check. Yes, that's a real check. And in that list again, that... There's, there's animal handling. That was oh. a... Your animal handling's plus one. That was a 19. A 20. Not much. Unnatural 20. Unnatural. Okay. So yeah, you, you pick up 20. the rabbit and it, is, it seems quite oh, happy Oh, look at this, up. guys. Oh. oh, he's taking a liking to you. He does, oh, doesn't he? He's a little horned rabbit. You guys getting hungry? No. Okay. Are you hungry? You should have had something oh, up I in the monkey cave. Oh, I don't want that stuff. Cave. You don't know what's coming. You know, you know, these creatures are they are. Instead of a traditional cotton tail, it's got like a, a long sort of horse's um, tail instead. So it's like a long mane out the back. Oh, look that at that. That is bizarre. So look as you it. pick it up, it's got its little horns. Its feet are like this. Its legs are dangling below. And then it's got quite a long, almost as long as its body again, beautiful sort of mane-like tail. That is so strange. Mm, look, at, look at him. Uh, yeah, him. That's weird, isn't it? What are they doing here? Oh, I'm going to have a look right. around at all the equipment. Okay. Um, There's lots of alchemical stuff here. There's stuff you might not, you might understand. Are there any like instruction manuals or anything like that? Diagrams? Oh, there's hastily loads. scrawled there's notes. There's lots of books and things like that, like open all over the place. A, a cursory glance, yep. and I get an idea of what's going on here. So you think that this this seems to be a person that has a good knowledge of? Um, this guy's got a lot of time on his hands. First uh, of all, sort of alchemy. Transmutation, um, basic life magic, things things around changing, enhancing, um, modifying. So I mean, this probably makes a lot of sense to you. This guy's playing God. There's another wizard here. It feels like I feel wizard energy. You feel we wizard, do that. wizard energy. Yeah, sometimes you walk into a room, you're like, "There's some wizard energy here." Is it like the odor? Uh, it's more of a sensation. Yeah. On the on the gills. Feel it Your gills are tingling. Yeah. So you, gills are tingling. Is it another merfolk? I'm not quite sure. Would they have a tingle back if they're not? No, I don't think so. That's weird. No. Kabibi, out the window, there's a window off behind you near where you came down the stairs. Um, you hear a s large splashing, swishing sound, like what sounds like a whale or something outside. Wait, I can hear something. So I go over to the window and yep. have a look. The tower is right on the beach, really. So just off to the south, you see in the distance, a massive pinkish, purplish, orange fish. I Guys, mean, you gotta come and look at this. Look what's out on you the. You can uh... see it there in the bottom left of the frame on that map. It's. Um, oh, I see. It's almost the size of your boat. Uh, almost the size of the clumsy goose. This There's is something massive... massive out there in the water. It's a lot closer than this oh. now, though. That was just oh, sort of yeah. static image. Oh. But it's just approaching the beach. You see this huge fish, turn, like begin to shrink as it comes up the beach. Great. Smaller and smaller as it gets shallower and shallower, this, this giant demon fish. <laughs> it's um, huge originally, uh, massive teeth sticking out of its mouth. It looks a bit like one of the deep sea angler fish without the thing hanging oh. from its head um, and purple and orange. And as it approaches the beach, it shrinks down smaller and smaller and smaller before it changes in form. And as your eyes adjust to this new shape. You're tiny. You see this humanoid figure, still purple with red hair, uh, walk up the beach. Are they human size or are they They've now tiny? shrunk down to a vaguely human size, okay. yeah. Um, and they're some distance away, so you can't quite make out features, but it seems to be perhaps a woman, 
um, who is uh, about five and a half to six feet tall, quite slight in build, but muscular and strong. As a woman just came out of the water, I think like she was a fish, but now she's not a fish. Wizard? Is that wizard stuff? Titus? That sounds wizardly. Have a look. Have, have a you look. seen anything like this? What sort? Are you doing looking through any more of the equipment or stuff on the de on desk? Yeah, uh, I'm skimming. Anything you're looking for in particular? Your character is an alchemist, right? Yeah. Is there any right. kind of things, like features Artificer. or stuff, that you could benefit from here? Um, so, uh, in terms of my features and stuff, I can with I can also do the right tool for the job. Okay. So, with thieves' tools or artisan tools in hands, I can magically create one set of artisans' tools in an un unoccupied space. That's how I did the whole lock picking thing earlier. Okay. Uh, it requires an hour of uninterrupted work. So, if I wanted to get similar tools to what they're using here. Mm -hmm. to figure out what it is, it would take me an hour of, of like, tinkering. Okay, I guess. all right. Sword, you see, lying on the, uh, the desk, amongst notes and hastily scrawled diagrams and things like that, um, a stone catches your eye. It's, it looks like a smooth pebble. Uh, it, it's about the size of your palm, uh, and it has got a sort of mother of pearl sheen to it. But other than that, it seems to be made out of sort of uh, slate worn smooth by the ocean. Lovely. Like that. Um, you recognize this as a master transmutation stone. So this is something wow. um, that has properties. It can, it can do certain things. You're still trying to work out what exactly that is, but you know it's probably quite valuable and probably quite powerful. Um, so if you want, you can pocket it. You also know that this is probably tied to a what's wizard. The, what's it called? It's a transmutation stone. I'm trying I'm to work out- I'm pocketing that. Okay, you do know obviously that this has probably been crafted by a wizard of transmutation. Um, and you probably also know that like these are gifted to people by Wizards of Transmutation. They can be gifted, sold, but they often are created and magically tied to someone. Um, so you pop uh, it out. You hear the door slam downstairs. I drop it. <laughs> right, you drop it back on the desk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my They're God. They're inside. These bloody raiders. Why can't they just come and do business like everybody else you hear from downstairs? Well, you hear somebody stomping and throwing clothes off and things like that. Someone's coming up. Straighten up everybody, uh, look good, look up. sharp. Um, we're rumbled. I'm still holding the little rabbit. Let's form an arrow formation. Uh, what, like you I'll at the this. front? I'll be the tip of the arrow. All right. We'll flank you either side behind you. <laughs> so we've created the tip of the arrow at the, the, the okay. entrance of the door, just, just waiting. I'm pumping up I'm my almost looking, trying to look, You're loading a musket. Trying that's to look not, as regal as possible. <laughs> you're trying to look good. Okay, Kapipi, you, you're just holding the rabbit. I'm still holding the rabbit, yeah. Okay, right, you hear a little bit more fussing and, and movement, and then you hear like, oh, and then clump, 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 they clump. Somebody's perturbed. coming up the stairs to the second floor. <clears throat> yeah, and you're just waiting. Don't come in, I'm naked! What? Uh, Who's up there? Um, We're all naked! We're all naked! Up the stairs comes uh, a woman. Now, Mom! <laughs> Mom! <laughs> Mom! Hurry, quickly! You hurry. see a purple half orc with, with half -orc. reddish orange hair. Um, this is a half orc, a reasonably slight build for a half orc, but she still stands about the same height as Titus almost. Um, she's dressed in practical but quality clothing. A tunic and trousers made from what looks like rough spun cotton dyed dark grey. She wears a, um, a harness and belt um, of leather. Um, there's many small patches, pouches and pockets cleverly and carefully distributed around this harness and waist. There are bottles of potions, wands, and even what looks like the odd bag of seed um, for, for flowers and things. Her hair is slightly wet still, and she seems somewhat winded by what you presume may have been a really long swim or run. Um, she's perturbed to find you here, um, but you kind of get the impression that it isn't the first time she's had unexpected visitors arrive in unexpected ways. So she stops, puts her hands on her hips and goes, Who the bloody hell are you three? Oh, so you didn't, you didn't get the memo? You didn't get the message? No. Oh, well, we're just visit we're visitors, aren't we? We're supposed to be here. Yeah, yeah. an audit. audit. Yeah, we, just audit. Just, uh, we had to check out all of your business. An audit? Nobody audits me here. This is my island. I make the rules. Well, did you come through the portal? Of course we did. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. As all right auditors safe. do. Yeah. Uh, we came from uh, our own way gate, in fact. Your own way gate? Yeah, the auditor's yeah. island. Yeah. We got our own one. Your yeah. own way gate magically tied to my teleportation circle. Absolutely. It yeah. just happened to open. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Oh, you need to get one. your monkeys in order. Oh, so you've met the monkeys then? Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Quite well acquainted. Yeah, we met you. them very, yeah, I very, call them very, 
Mankies. Mankies. Yes. Of course. Yeah, we've what you're doing all. is against the conventions of the local area. Yeah, local area. We're going to have to ask you to cease uh, experimenting. Yeah. Or at least you... explain yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Ha! Me? Against the conventions? I don't think so. I did those mankeys a, 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 a favour. What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? What, what, what happened there? Oh, God. I used to have this stupid bloody apprentice. He, he had this idea that we could maybe grow meat on the monkeys. You see, this whole island, this is a trading post. I, I sell fresh water and, and grain to visiting sailors. Yeah. That's how I make my money. I'm an honest merchant. With a little bit of help with, from magic and transmutation, of course. Yeah, I can see that. You got GM here. <laughs> Absolutely, it, it, it's very GM. Strong um, GM vibes. Look at the size of those And then plants. she looks at Kapipi, walks over, takes the, the horned rabbit from him and oh, goes... you take it that way? That's my rabbit. And then walks oh, over, puts it back fella. in the hutch, closes it. What's his name? Um, Terence. Terence. Terence the rabbit. See you later, Terence. It's a nice name. It's a good, good name. For a good again, name once again, he ignores you, sort of thumps his foot a little bit, hops back inside. So, yes, I've been running this outpost for many, many years now, since I got rich enough to own my own island. Welcome, by the way. Uh, the Thanks. monkeys were an experiment by my apprentice. He was a foolish boy who thought that he could uh, supplement our grain and water sales by giving the sailors a source of meat. Ugh. He started with a few monkeys, they inbred and started to cause some aberrations. He then tried to use magic to, to fix the monkeys. However, he somehow managed to accidentally bind himself oh. to a monkey, oh. which then inbred further with other monkeys. Accidentally. Right. So what's happened is, I come back one day from a two week sailing trip and he's managed to magically bind his essence with about six or seven monkeys. He no longer exists as an individual. He's merged with the monkey troop. The monkey Hang troop then second. proceed to inbred <laughs> okay, yeah. further and further and further. I was very busy. They inbred further and further and How further. How long ago was this? This was about two years ago. Whoa. What? Does he look like now? Yeah, Who? The, the, your the, intern. The, yeah, the intern. You've seen them? No, your intern. Yes, the intern magically bound himself and his body. Yeah, but we're, we're are they still alive? He's got two heads, it's one butt, According two to buns. you, are they still alive? In as a way. As far as you know. That's why the monkeys were on the island. I couldn't bear to, to kill what was left of my apprentice within this monkey troop, so I bound my teleportation circle to twice a day open to allow the monkeys to go and relax on the island. Right. And then oh. once in the evening, it opens once again, they come back and they're fed and, and housed here for the night. Well, well, Listen, yeah. I think we've done them a favour. We've done you a favour. What oh, do you mean? To be honest, we've sorted no, out your problem them. and you don't need to worry anymore. What problem is that? Well, I killed your intern. Which one? Oh, there were more than one interns. He's all of the monkeys. You don't oh, understand. Right. Oh, okay. He magically worse. bound his essence in a free transmutation yeah. spell oh. to, one, oh. to every Sorry, one of the six monkeys us. in we the original troop. It's often. fine. I thought I cut the head off the snake. It's fine. No, there's, there's plenty it's left. still a lot of there's your interns left. left. Yeah. But, uh, okay. They, they yeah. pounced on us and there was the, he can speak with animals, you see. Yeah, they, they were they like, to, dinner, they, dinner. No, no, they, they were saying, kill, 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 kill. We want to kill. Murder. Murder. Definitely murdered the folks. Slice. Okay. But you can help him as well. It's an 18. It's pretty good. All right, you succeed. Plus three. Well, oh God, that is troubling. I mean, it's been a long time since I've really looked at the problem. Yeah. Perhaps they are getting more aggressive. Yeah, potty mouths too. Lots of wearing. Yeah, disgusting. Mm, Who did they learn that from? Yeah. The Apprentice, probably. That's perfectly yeah, understandable. No, yeah. they get well, no, filthy mouths. Well, I, I've just had to chase off a couple of... Um, well, they said they were merchants, but they certainly seem to be looking lustfully at my mermaids. Um, Unless you've got gills. It's nice. Gills? Gillish. Well, I saw you out in there. In the water. Oh. That's nice, isn't it? No, well, it's not me that has the gills. I can change myself at will. Oh, um, that's pretty good. Cool. you do that? I'm a master of transmutation. What's the biggest thing you've ever been? That fish is pretty bloody big. It was big. pretty big. What, what, anything bigger than that? About the size of a ship. Oh! That's pretty big. I, I'm I haven't impressed. seen you I do just, that once. I'm just really, no, I, have, I can't do that. What's your thing, then? Don't, don't tell that. Uh, I've oh, seen you cast like little tiny This castle fireballs. is a fraction of the size of what I could be. <laughs> I could be really big. How do you get so like, big? Just I, I grab things. I mix them. I, I can I can do those things. You're a master of transportation. I won't though. It takes a lot of just takes a lot of work. Do you get I, the wizard uh, tingles? When yeah, do you get those tingles? Tingle? Yeah, do you get? Is it just me? I sense some magical presence here. Yes. So what did you feel when you came up those stairs? Um, uh, three idiots were breathing heavily in the room above me. <sighs> I told you to be quiet. We I held my breath. Quiet. I was. No, I wasn't holding my breath. 
It might be the musket pumping, it sounds like. Yeah. So you're doing a little, little tingle somewhere? Look, well, anyway. Wh- while you're here, while Pumpers. you're here, I need some help. Okay, um, oh, well, grab bloody mercenary shiv- Well, I used to be, but... You are How trespassers much? in my castle. You're bloody lucky I don't incinerate the lot of you. Yeah. No, we're here to audit the place. In fact, we have a God-given right to be here. Yes. We mean given. no harm. That's we right. We do harm. The Selakai sent us. But that's all in the... Yeah. The, the Sel- Selakai. Sel- Selakai. Yeah. There are no yeah. Selakai in these parts, perhaps on a passing ship, perhaps. What on earth have you got to do with the Selakai? <laughs> The Selakai, by the way, don't are we have a to race do with the of street shark-like people the Trot brief, uh, sword briefly encountered like when seconds. he went through the yeah. gate originally. So for some reason, he's now claiming to be part of or yeah. representative of yeah. the Selakai nation. You yeah, didn't get well, this for no reason. Yeah. That's to ward off sharks, isn't it? Yeah, because sometimes they get a bit bitey. They do. Exactly. Anyway. Right, walk and talk. She points towards three large vats of, of, of purplish glowing liquid. Can you carry that for me? Well, aren't you Very always... good, she doesn't stop to listen oh, and proceeds to walk towards it. What is this, menial labour? And okay. there are little straps that go over the back so yeah. you can just oh, hold right. the canister behind you. Right, come on, with me. And she leads you downstairs. Um, oh, right. As I was saying, and this will be part of the audit, by the way, forcing us of to course, do this. Yeah. Uh, I'm taking notes, yes. mental notes. Three-pointed star, I guess you, uh, you've heard of them before. I've had encounters with them, I'm not the biggest fan. Well, it looks like you've got a way gate that's uh, not in their records. Hmm. You plan to tell them of the way gate on the island? We don't have to. Oh, we, I think they already know. Unless there's something worth our while. We well, could keep a secret a secret. <laughs> We're independent folk here. Let me say, I'm more than willing to work with you. I will say, however, that you and I are the only ones that know of his existence. It's a lot easier to make this secret again if you aren't in the equation. Oh, well. <laughs> I wouldn't yeah. mess with Kapipi. Oh. This guy. What do you mean when I'm not in the a equation? A warrior of recruit. A warrior of renown. I've Are done, you? I've done things. His face is on a ship. I've His done, face is on the... I've seen the light go out. fucked up. I've seen the light go out. Look at that <laughs> stare. Yeah. Look at it. Ah, most people that sail the thousand teeth are going to see a few lights go out in their time, believe me. Yeah. He breathes in their last breath. That's pretty weird. Yeah. <laughs> That's he gets up, right up in their face. He enjoys, he revels in it. All right, try and intimidate me. That's a 19. <laughs> right, and she is intimidated. She's, well... They don't call him Sticky Mickey for nothing. Yeah. Okay. Very okay. Sticky. Show him your... Show him your... Ching. Yeah. Ooh, Look nice bayonet. Wow. You really Look want to take it eye. to this level? So you drop the potion when you do that then. The barrel of potion. Oh. <laughs> it slams to the floor. <laughs> Boom. But instead of cracking or breaking, bizarrely, the, the, the wood that the container is in hits the floor and sort of wobbles. It's, it's almost like rubberized or, or ruggedized oh. somehow. Oh. oh, for God's sake. Yes, Sorry put them I away. I believe you. I'm not here to have a fight, okay? Good. These things happen. I would just say, yeah. let's have a reasonable conversation about keeping the We can be diplomatic, can't we? Yeah, under wraps. We can, we can, can both be. use it. We could benefit yeah. from it. We could both benefit from a yeah. private yeah. island. Nobody asks what yeah. you do there. Visiting royals may, may, may come along and, and who knows, you know? Nobody's looking, no oversight. Okay? And you know what? It would be okay. beneficial to know which way gates it's linked to, so that we can stop <laughs> anything coming in or out. You're a smart one, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> come on, carry the barrel, and she sort of like keeps beckoning. Well, you've already got up. your code on his back. Right. Look, yeah, look at that. That's it's not my code. That gate isn't mine. I simply found it just like you. And yes, that is correct. Um, you may want to perhaps cover that up, for other people will recognise that as. We'll perhaps. get him a little half cloak. It'd be cute. Okay, okay. Um, you, you're now down in the bottom floor of the tower. This is... Um, What's say. your name again? Oh, of course. We haven't introduced ourselves. My name's Periwinkle. Periwinkle. Master Transmuter. First wizard of the Half-Orc Navy Cohort. Oh, that's quite a title. Mutineer. <laughs> oh, right. Well, wow, do you want to see the rest of the Navy around? <laughs> Not Awkward. me. Awkward. But you know, how to, you know how to work a ship, or at least be on one. Oh, of course. Interesting. Of course, you don't need a ship if you can transform into a giant hell sea demon fish. Yeah, but the ship does a lot of the grunt work for you, doesn't it? True, yeah. I do get tired of swimming now and then. Yeah. Does it hurt? Turning into a fish? Yeah, yeah, is there any kind of like residual effect? Does it change the biology of you or maybe the when I'm the in shape the form, of things? When I'm in the form of the creature, absolutely, yeah. my biology matters. But when you come back, everything's all there. That's right. You're not missing anything, you haven't grown. He's very worried about things. losing his dick. Like with a portal uh, trans- uh, it's a ra- transfer. I rarely do. I can do it, I rarely do it. It's, um, it, once you learn it properly, it's safe, yes, yes. I'm, my apprentice was rushing things. He was combining elements of magic that shouldn't be combined. That's how his accident happened. Of course, yeah. Don't be too hasty. 
Sure, but that's a, a wizard sphere, you see. Always you, a wizard sphere. So you walk through, through what, what is this ground? You didn't used to be a weather wizard, do you? Oh, no, I've never been a weather wizard. Um, no. I thought about going into that, but uh, really the elements are not really my strength. I'm more about the, the, what makes things up, changing them, modifying them coming up with new ideas. Right. I'd love to show you a little bit about my island if you'll just carry that barrel with me. Come oh, on. Well, let's go. Yes. So you walk out through this ground floor, which is basically a storage cupboard. Well, I mean, it's massive. It's got um, wagons and wheelbarrows and things like that in it. It's got coats and boots and lots of things that mainly seem just for one person. Um, you can see a lot of spare barrels and things like that, these rubberized water barrels that you've seen um, and ways to transport them. Anyway, yeah, you walk out, you turn right and you head towards, um, you're going along the beach heading uh, west. Uh, you see the pier down to your left down the beach. There's a small little boat moored there. Looks big enough for about three or four people to man. It's not nothing major. It's got a nice little get up here. Is this all just for you? This is my operation. I run it here alongside with some help of some elementals. And as you look around, there are like some earth elementals and things like that moving up and down. Bloody as you hell. as you round the corner, there are these long grain fields. They're quite compact, but every single one seems to be running in these sort of troughs that have um, that are connected by a sort of magical well not magical they're just pipes that pipe these this big barrels of solution down into the troughs and the, the grain growing there seems to be much larger and fuller than any of the grain you've seen growing elsewhere um, there are earth elementals moving up and tilling the land moving crops picking things there's also um, others um, that are transporting bigger barrels of, of, of water up and down to the docks that you see slightly further down the beach, which are a bit bigger. Um, these are used uh, as a place for ships to uh, load some of these barrels and these grain and things that the, that the island is magically producing. She takes you around the corner. You stop in front of one of these, these grain patches, which are no more than about 30 feet wide and 30 feet deep. But like I say, it's incredibly dense, tall crops. Where you'd normally see a crop raising to about six feet high, these are almost twice the height. They tower above you with these huge, healthy looking well, and, and maize heads. Yeah. I can see why there's a lot of trade here. Absolutely, you... our grain is the best. And, uh, our? Well, me and the elementals, I, I don't get out much. I mainly chase off raiders, talk to the odd sailor dropping in here. They're usually exhausted, so not particularly good company. Seems like you could do with a bit of a, you know, alliance of sorts. Yeah. Do you know the party? Uh, I don't do that much party uh, these days. I mainly party in my mind, if I'm oh, honest with right. you. right, okay, the little things I can mind brew. party. <laughs> yeah, of course. It's, it's quite a solo experience though, unfortunately. Yeah. I mean, uh, you could, we could experience it together, but none of us would know the other was there, put it that way. Oh, okay. It's a real hole. <laughs> well, we'll put that on ice for now. Maybe later. Maybe. Have you thought of expanding your operations, so to speak? Like maybe doing deliveries as well as people coming here for trade? Perhaps, perhaps. Cost-wise, it doesn't make much sense, and I, I have to keep things to approved buyers only because, frankly, I'm operating a little bit outside of any form of larger organization. And whilst there aren't really any rules governing what a person can truly do here, there are trading cartels, trading companies that would definitely try to strangle my business if I made too many waves. I see. Well, okay. you know. We're just three guys looking for a good time, frankly. <laughs> That's all you're looking yeah, for. We're just three, oh, three party oh, boys, <laughs> just trying to have fun. On a holiday. Look, Go to all these, yeah, what cocktails do you serve? Do we level with them? They seem all right. Yeah, yeah very so what yeah, brought you so. here? How did you fall through oh. the portal? What were you doing on that island? Do you want to give the download? Uh, yeah, give what the did download. we do? All right, so basically we got hired to return a ship. I uh, don't know if you've heard of it, the Fat Duck. Uh, I, I think... Mikkel Salgo. Yeah. Of course, Mikkel. He yeah. came through here last year, loaded on some goods. I had a great conversation with him. Impressive ship. He's he's adorned it with all sorts of enchantments and abilities. And oh, it's a lovely piece of work. Yes, yeah, it's ours now. Yeah, oh, we've, we've yeah. commandeered. Commandeered. What's yeah. happened? Yeah. Well, we'll return it. We'll oh, return it. We're not, we that, we're not that type of person. Wait, wait, it got stolen, and we're getting it back to him yeah. slowly. I see. I see. So and it's been repainted. Yeah. Oh, you've repainted it too. And you got his face on and there. Renamed. And Tempor renamed. temporarily, now, some people might see that as a bit of an appropriation, but I'm yeah. not here to judge. Um, was it a contract you had? Yeah, yeah. Just, yeah. Uh, he's got like a spirit crew that seemed very much eager to get back to him. Yes, I remember. Yes, he was explaining to me how, what happened. It was a, uh, it was the crew, a necromancer. Had yeah, tied real to soft their story. Ship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. yeah, yeah. It really is. Yeah, he saved their cried. souls by 
giving them a place yeah. to yeah. exist. Yeah. What a, what a Dinky, white knight. Dinky? He's a good man. Yeah. Did you ever meet Dinky? Uh, I remember the first mate. The, the yeah. Dinky Doinkers. Dinky Doinkers. Yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah, he, he seems was, like the only one you can really communicate with. The rest yeah. just seem to get on with it, you know? I believe that was the one that Mikkel saved first. And in the moments he had to save the rest of the crew, perhaps less of their arcane reflection was stored in, in the mm. mirror. Great painters, eh? Yeah, really good at their job, frankly. Good cutting in. And Very they were good. quite happy yeah. to repaint. Where is the ship? On, on the island where you left it? Oh, it is. But it's on... Again, we've... Yeah. It's under control. It's fine. Okay. It's totally fine and yeah. guarded. Put these barrels down here. And then she just mm. gestures her hand and they sort of uh, magically hover up into position and then pour themselves into you the larger vats that the are feeding time. the troughs. Yeah, you could have just... Yeah, like... she, she totally didn't need to do that. She can definitely just like make these things move, but... It's a power move. It was. You definitely get that impression. She's sort of like, thank you. And then she sort of dances her hand and then it fills up the troughs that are feeding the plants. And she's like, very good. Um, we should probably go and check on the mer, the mer, the mer people. Um, before I came here, the, the, the giant fish thing, uh, I had to chase off a couple of um, Corsair raiding parties. They were, they were here for my mer people. What, what do you mean, your mer people? Let me show you, let me show you. And then you oh, walk gosh. further up past the, um, you walk past a, a you large not want to look at this. magical well yes. that is working on oh, a sort of um, a conveyor belt system. So there's lots and lots of buckets tied onto ropes and they go around down, they pick up the water, they come up. And then as they come around the top of the turn, it dumps into an Elementals just holding like a giant bucket. And <laughs> nice. uh, like it fills up, it fills up, it fills up, it fills up. And then um, the Elemental whacks its head into the top of the magical well and the thing stops. And then he goes over and pours it into one of these barrels, comes back, whacks his head again. And you walk past that happening, just filling all the Do they ever barrels. get a break? Oh, no, they don't need one. It's the best thing about Elementals. They don't have like... No unions. That's you, what I was going to oh, say. So you've really got this uh, stitch lab, haven't you? Yeah. Oh, yes. I mean, lovely. I'm guessing you're yeah. the only profiter of this as well. Well, I mean, it keeps me in gold shoes and gold teeth, gold rings, gold. It, yes, it I make a lot of money. Makes money. But he says. ultimately, it just keeps me busy. Uh, I've got so good at transmutation these days, I can basically make my own gold. Can you now? <laughs> oh, wow. I can't, I can't do that one. I've um, never had that much gold. They walk, you gold. walk past you the learn. water processing plant through some trees, it's lovely tall palm trees. There's a gentle breeze blowing across the island. The island again is, is quite small, less than a mile wide. There's lots and lots of these little islands throughout uh, the Thousand Teeth. Um, and you come through these, these palm trees and out into another beach. And about a hundred feet off the beach, there's a large, big large rock sticking out of the ocean. Mer people are draped and decorated across the rock. They're alive. They look kind of hot from afar, but as you get closer, <laughs> you realize they're all slightly bizarre looking. And this isn't unusual, right? So a lot of sailors and things romanticize the idea of mer people and, you know, mer women and men, mer folk being kind of hot and like, you know, like, oh, topless and all that sort of stuff. Yeah. These ones aren't topless. Of course, they're using the trademark Disney shell bras, nice. shell cod nice. pieces, things like that to keep things subtle and, you know, low key. A very but PG. They seem super hot from a distance, but as you get closer, things are slightly off. Their faces, which look human from a distance, are all wildly proportioned with sort of very little sim symmetry. Oh. Like they're sort of like really scary grins. There's and there's like, no symmetry about them. And they're what? all like, like <laughs> and, um, and, and Periwinkle explains that, um, yeah, merfolk, I mean, they're great for luring sailors. Let's be honest, if you want to lure a sailor, Hilarious. Merfolk gets them every time. That and Sirens, I think, are the two that really You do realise these are Merfolk, right? Yeah, uh, but from a distance, I think I could finish. These oh, are different. The asymmetry. You'll be lured in. I'm just saying the asymmetry when you get closer really puts you off. You so like you it. see, you, you know when Titus earlier was talking about their sort of lesser folk? So Titus is yeah. one of the sort of cerebr cerebrally, cerebrally inclined Mer people. These are the 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 creme de la creme of their folk. Your bottom feeders. These they did test. Periwinkle explains. Guys. Yes, a lot of people right. presume that all mer folk are like Titus here, highly functioning individuals with complex cultural and social hierarchies. What you see here are your run-of-the-mill mer folk. They have rough intelligence of a very dumb seal. Um, so these these guys are less than sentient, really. They're they're and they're like looking at each other and occasionally getting into um, sort of and one of them steps on the tail of another one and, and they're all they, they're real sad you know this is barnacles that's all we call them barnacles where we're from like barnacle plant, grade right? intelligence yeah. they are pretty much just stuck to a, a rock at all times 
Nobody wants to go near him. I can Nobody. see why you're experimenting on them now. So I didn't oh, experiment yeah. on yeah, them. These, did, these yeah. are the mill. Oh, well, you did. You, you, well, you they did. Them. Yes, they Hands did. Hands clean. Hands clean. I saw it though. Periwinkle gestures to sort of just out to sea a bit from this, this merfolk's rock. There, you can see just underneath the water a reef, a dangerous reef of jutting spikes and rocks and corals. It's colourful and there's big dark holes and pits inside this reef. And she says, Yes, I mainly use the merfolk to uh, distract and tempt any um, unapproved buyers, let's say. They, they come in towards me thinking they're going to get an easy choice morsel, just one person that lives alone on an island. Uh, the merfolk always tempt them in that type. There's something about them, they just, oh, they can't resist. And, well, there's a carnivorous reef I've enchanted just below. So she explains that the ships come in, they hit this reef, and the sailors are sucked below by um, a special form of um, coral reef that has like a sucking function. These are like tiny holes in the rock. They're like the lava tubes um, that we were told about in rivers, but they have dead ends. And what happens is, as the ships wreck, these grand coral reefs start pumping and sucking, and they suck sailors into these holes, like, like a Venus flytrap of suction, hold them in place whilst the sailor drowns, and then they slowly digest them whilst they're stuck inside this reef. Wow. So this is a carnivorous reef. Those you things... can see a wreck of perhaps a few years old. Yeah. Um, oh yes, that's my carnivorous reef. It uh, sucks in and consumes all that try to run the straits and take my merfolk. I'm getting a tone in, and uh, forgive me, but uh, you're really showing us like your potential and like the level yeah. of threat that uh, could come to us if we were to double cross you. Are, are you doing that on purpose? Yeah. Like the carnivorous reef and all that? I'll be honest with you, it's not often I get visitors. Oh, right. And yeah. it's nice to show people what you've been working on. I, I mean, it's very impressive. Yeah, you've earned, you've earned the right to show off. Is there a yeah. limitation to your semen sucker over there? The reef. Yeah, the reef. Yeah, how many like, how much semen could it take? Well, I guess it could take quite a lot before getting really clogged up, but it takes quite a while for the reef to digest, like you know, a good load uh, right. of semen. <laughs> um, now, of course. Okay, brilliant. But I haven't really tested it. If I'm honest with you, it's a large reef. It, it spans 300 feet at least, um, and I mean it doesn't seem to have stopped sucking yet. Fantastic, Incredible. that's impressive. I'm I'm very impressed with your <laughs> operation you've got going on here. Impressed by this, you'll love Turtle Island. Oh, Turtle, Turtle Island. Island. Hello. Turtle. Of course. Ah, sorry. Would you like sorry. to see Turtle Island? You've got one here? Yes. Yes, I would we like to several. see it. several. Several? Several. Turtles, not Turtle Islands. Just right. one Turtle yeah, Island. Yeah, yeah. Right. No, we know. And is it going to be appropriate for... He's a turtle, not a turtle. turtle. Completely different. Yeah, but Are you can sure he... sure that it's not... Can is it going to be work? appropriate if I experiment on a goblin? Hop goblin. Ooh, that's a good point. Head point. Let's go see the turtles. Come on. Let's I'm no look. stranger to crossbreeding. I'm a half orc. Right, of course. Now we saw the. My mother was a highly assertive orc, and my father was a gimpish, <laughs> gimpish man. You're very open. <laughs> You're very open. He exactly. loved it. He loved being thrown around. No, oh, yeah. there's Merelda, he would say. I, I'd hear them as they were trying for a second, but I was the only one that they ever had. <laughs> right, okay. Oh, right, yeah. right. The leatherwork, the leatherwork my mother owned. I oh. am getting an only child vibe from yeah, that. Yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or not just the, vi the being alone on the island thing. That's no, it's, uh, yeah, I think they've yeah. grown up this way. Onwards to Turtle Island, she says. Okay. And she yes. like, leads you up again the coast. You go back through the, for uh, the small forest, around the corner, and west, out to the peak of, of the small island you're on. And that, adventurers, is the end of part one of episode two of Booty. High seas, low expectations. Well done. <laughs> See you in the next one. <laughs>